Hey guys, today we're doing an updated video on how to pick a realtor lockbox or a key box. So, what you need in, able to uh, in order to find the code for this lockbox is a little shim. Now you can make this out of uh, a Coke can or something like that. All of the comments that I've gotten on my previous video uh, basically say people have made these out of Coke cans, uh, you know, iced tea cans, beer cans, whatever. Uh, but I found this in my toolbox, so I figured I would just do another video. This thing works perfectly. It's just, I really don't even know what this is. It was just in there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do an updated video. So what we're going to do here is uh, is uh, we're going to pick this lockbox. I don't know the combination right now. As you can see, it's kind of all mixed up. So what we're going to do is stick this thin piece of metal in the left-hand side of this dial right here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get it in there. Let's see if it'll even go in okay got it on the left hand side of this dial now what I want to do is I want to push down on this thing really gently don't push down too hard just push real gently and I'm gonna spin this dial until I feel this piece of metal move downwards where my thumb is so I'm gonna spin this and I felt it move right at the nine okay move downward so I'm gonna leave that at nine that first dial moving on to my second dial here so we're going to the second dial I'm gonna basically spin this until I feel this thing this little shim that I have I'm gonna call it a shim it's just a thin piece of metal uh, move so I'm spinning my dial and it moved at the zero so I'm gonna move on to the next one here and I'm going to spin this third one here so third wheel spinning it I felt it move at the one so I'm gonna leave it at one right here moving on to the next one or the next dial put it on the left hand side of the dial here spinning this and I don't know if you guys can see it but it moved downwards again so we're at nine zero one two now we're gonna try to open this it's not gonna open all we have to do is move each dial down one slot. So move that one down, move this one down, move this one down, move this one down. And that's not the combination. So let's do it again. Down one, down one, down one, down one. Let's try it. And we got the combination. Obviously, I set this to a really easy one, one, two, three, four. Um, but that's the combination. I found it in you know less than three minutes. So, um, but the reason I'm uh, redoing this video, this is kind of a part two to the first one that I did. I got a lot of likes and a lot of comments. The reason I'm remaking this video is because I actually wanted to show you guys what that dial looks like on the left hand side. So, on this one, it's a little plastic. It's a little black plastic piece. So I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Or hopefully you can. But I'm going to spin this for you guys. And you can see what my tool is actually touching. So look at this little black round plastic dial. And we're going to move this and see if you guys can see where that flat spot is. That's the flat spot. It's pretty obvious to me. It's kind of like an L-shaped cut in that little black plastic piece to the left side of the dial now each one of these dials has that little piece there and that's what you're looking for so when your tool goes into that lockbox it should stop at that at that uh, slot there or your tool should move downwards and you should be able to feel it so here's an updated video this is kind of a sacrificial lockbox here I just wanted to show you guys what that dial actually looked like you have been asking me about it in the comments so hopefully that helps you guys uh, and uh, if you like this video, please like it and um, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.